Hey guys, coming back at you with another episode of Rewind the Roll, episode four. This time with John Wick and the Gi. You're gonna watch me and him break down our role that we had just a few moments ago. Uh, a lot of passing scenarios, a lot of sweeping scenarios, and we're gonna get a glimpse into each other's game when we roll against each other. So I hope you guys are able to learn something. I hope you guys enjoy. As always, a lot of hard work and a lot of energy. So get the guard pull and then sweep. And in my mind already, I'm like, damn, I really don't want to be here. Yeah. That you know, this early, yeah. Well, I, I wouldn't normally concede the sweep like that, but I just it's really hard to pass your guys' guard, yeah. At, you know, even to just stay on my feet for any amount of time, mm hmm. It's really hard to pass your guard, so I think like both of us is like a double guard pull yeah. battle, yeah. When the camera's on, it's different, <laughs> it is. So, I'm already <laughs> trying to control this leg because John's really good at throwing, uh, like a lot of people would be like weak side. My stance is always strong left foot forward. And I think you've developed because of that. We roll so much together yeah. that your your right daily heave leg is really good, and you can whip a deep daily heave super fast. Yeah. So I always control this leg, at least. And then I I kind of lost the battle because you started to go lasso. Yeah. But I, I don't want to get stuck in that lasso because I know triangles are on the plot is right around the corner. You immediately tumble that hand on the outside. So. Yeah. And it's just a battle of yeah. grips and a battle of like the position. Who's gonna have the better position here? So kind of like settling just into headquarters, your knee shield. I'm trying. I'm honestly trying to get you back on the mat, and then that opens the X pass, yeah. so we can rewind that a little bit. What I was thinking actually is from the knee slice, go try to go back to the leg weave because that's one of my stronger positions. But then, yeah, uh, I think like as soon as your back becomes neutral, parallel to the mat, then the X pass is there, right there. Yeah, that's your favorite move, right there. You love when that happens. <laughs> Now, passing the guard is one thing, getting you to open up is a different. Yeah. Well, right there, I'm trying not to give you my back, but I know you're going to try to isolate my left arm right there. Yeah. Under it. Yeah. If you guys can see, John Wick always keeps his his left elbow in very strong. Yeah. So, for me to even get my left elbow under his left elbow so I can have a little, create a little bit of like back exposure, if you will, that that's a, that's a big battle right there, you know? Um, and we're always trying to me and you know once we get to that position we know it's like yeah. you know if I can if I can just start to wedge my form underneath your elbow that's a win for me yeah so right here we're just kind of accepting the position knee on belly I like to do this we had this conversation the other day where I stay low I have knee on belly but I also have cross face pressure and I don't see a lot of guys doing that I don't see that it's either a you have the cross face or B, you have neon belly where you're a little bit postured up. Yeah. But probably ever since I was like blue belt, I kind of like did that. Yeah. This, this is it's terrible. Yeah. It's, and just get to open my opponent yeah. up just a little bit. Yeah. Handling a cross face from side control and handling it from here is a completely different experience. Because mm -hmm. you're worried about like multiple things. Yeah. thinking about feeding the lapel so I can try to trap that arm but yeah it's tough now, I was surprised you didn't play with more lapels on this because I thought you were going to want to slow me down with the lapel because we trained previously the yeah. day before and you played a lot of lapels yeah it's so crazy how our our role from like the previous day it changed already yeah. within like yeah. less than 24 hours so. John tell me what's going through your mind right here so, it's so hard to make a good grip on you. So I was I was attempting to get you to reach out and grab my sleeve for a second. I kept baiting my hand there. Yeah. Whenever you did that, I was gonna try to dive in and get a grip. But you, every time I try to make a grip on you, you immediately pop it off. You know, you yeah. never let me mount any offense, right? So I was I was kind of baiting my hand out there, waiting for you to make a grip, hoping hoping to just make a grip and throw myself into some guard. Yeah. Um, it's it's so hard. They're like there's just not that many opportunities to attack. Just to you, establish though. something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking like, because I know this is gonna happen, right? Yeah. I know you're gonna grip me, right? And then two on one is really strong. I like that because yeah. it's hard to break. Yeah. And and when your feet come up beside my hips or maybe on my bicep, mm -hmm. 
then the fun starts. If you, you look know? right there, though, I pull, I make the two on one because I know it's going to be hard for you to break. Yeah. And I shoot my hips in, get my yep. feet past the hip. Mm-hmm. But you're already in on my left leg right there. You're already I, getting that. I grip. think as a, that's the main thing I look for. Yeah. I look, I look for my strong side, that leg coming either to my hip or past my hip, so I can catch it and immediately guide it in between. I'm not, I'm not trying to guide it straight to the pass. Yeah. I'm trying to guide it in between my legs, and so I can get to a headquarters position. Let's yeah. see what happens after this. Right yeah, so I immediately step over. Yeah. And so you're right already off to a compromisable like start. Yeah. You know? And then I mean it's just like having to play the game from here. You gotta recover. Well, did I stuff it? You must have Oh you got it. Let's yeah. look at that real quick. Yeah, John's super good at pummeling his leg back out to flexibility. So you can see I ha- I have stepped over and then you must have just immediately so I'm over it right here, it looks like. Yep. And then it's out again. I don't know, it's hard to see. Maybe I didn't clear it. There's that lapel. Right back in the headquarters. Yeah. Oh, long step there. Let's look, let's look back into that. Yeah, so I, I've been playing a lot with, with these grip setups, with controlling this far leg. Like I was talking about, to stop for one, to stop this daily heave, but for two, if I can pin this leg to the ground, it kills his hips. And this grip is actually really hard to break, especially yeah. when you do like palm down. They have to pull away from your fingers, mm-hmm. and it's it's super tough to break. And I try a long step here, and what I'm thinking is like try to fit into the knee slice, but your knee is so you're so good at bringing your knees together because you kind of know what's going to be there. And then we're here again. Maybe I was kind of thinking about leg weave there because my chest is on the outside, but with that grip that I had, it's it's hard. Yeah. And now I'm trying to get hip to hip to so make you accept half guard. Mm-hmm. Right here, I go for my Oprah hook. Yeah. And I'm hoping to slow you down. So I, I know you're you're you've broken your posture because you were trying to mm-hmm. to force half guard. So I took the over hook. I bring I'm gonna bring this leg high. But as soon as soon as you felt any threat at all, you posture up and you're out. Oh, I'm up and I'm out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not I'm not gonna hang around there and see what's up. Yeah. It's nope, not with you. One small opportunity, but there's there's not enough time for me to even capitalize on it because you're dropping out immediately. Yeah, I mean, as soon as I felt the overhook, I was like, uh oh, <laughs> you know, yeah. like danger alert. Yeah. Yeah. We're back, right back in the same grip <laughs> battle. Yeah. So like we had previously discussed before this role or before we did fil- or filming this. How this role isn't going to be like super interesting to the maybe the untrained eye, right? There's not going to be a lot of back and forth. There's not going to be a lot of like rolls, like forward rolls or backwards rolls. There's not going to be a lot of fancy high level this and that 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 you act, can actually see. You're not going to see like X guard sweeps and and like crazy techniques because what you're seeing here is is two high level athletes that are both doing this full time. You know, one's still actively competing and I'm still I actively trained 24/7. So you're kind of seeing like our best games kind of clashing, and when that happens, um, you know we kind of we're both trying to force our A game to work. Yeah. So it's hard for him to open up. It's also hard for me to open up because like skill wise, we're not that much difference. You know, I might I might be a little bit more experienced, but like like John Wick is super skilled, and he's good on bottom, right? And my pro- probably my best game is on top. So it's like we clash right there. So over the years, he's made me better and I've made him better. Yeah. And you know, this is kind of about how our roles go. Yeah. It's very competitive. Yeah. It's not always a highlight reel, right? It's not always a highlight reel. Sometimes like like when me and you train, it could be the most boring match there is because we're just trying to inch forward, you yeah. know. Yeah. And like he was able to learn some things from this role and mm-hmm. I was able to take away some things from Absolutely. this role. So you're just seeing a lot of like my A game versus kind of his A game. Trying to trying to keep up on the defensive end, but it's still it's still interesting. When we were right here, I knew I had messed up because you've already you've got that arm in, and your your yeah. underhook is keeping me from getting a good knee shield in. Mm-hmm. So I had to turn my hips away, and then I tried to come back and recover. You gonna watch that again? Yeah. Okay. Break that down for us. So it seems no matter how deep I get, you are really really good at recovering almost every single time. Like there will be a one day, there will be one day where I'm like, I passed John Wick's guard once this week, <laughs> just every single time. All right, right here. So yeah, right after right. the try, right after the overhook exchange. Yeah. 
And so you keep you keep that left arm in right here. Yeah. Let it play just a little bit farther. So elbow inside the right hip. Right there. And I knew I had messed up. I couldn't get the knee shield in anymore. Yeah. So usually my solution is I'll try to turn my hips the other way. You'll see that here in a second. And then I'll come back and try to fit the, you know, pummel my knee shield back in. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot my turn. hips that way. Oh uh, yeah. So did you do you usually double up on the knee? Um, or it, just that? It just depends. I, I, right there, I'm not sure what grips I had. I might have had a grip on the collar. Yeah. I'm honestly not sure, but I, I know sometimes I might even have like the ankle. Yeah. Like that, and I'll scoot my hips, and I'm basically. Obviously, you can switch and you can go smash pass or folding pass, mm -hmm. but I'll switch my hips and then I'll come back in. And you'll see that here in a second. I pummel that right knee back in for knee shield. Or the lasso. But yeah. as long as you make yeah. the distance. Yeah. And so that's what I was talking about. That John Wick's very dangerous with that, that right leg going through De La Hiva mm -hmm. on your right side. Most people play the opposite side. So it, and, and that's my strong side too. So he definitely got the best of me right there. I just I wasn't ready for it. And I know he's even good at it. It's just whip it. Boom. Already. Already across the hip. And if you don't know how to recover there, that's when you get in trouble. Yeah. Right? If you don't know to stay square and just keep, like, just to have a good base, that's when I'm going to fall to my side. That's when you're going to come up to the sweep and ultimately try to pass my guard in. Yeah. Get the submission. And then right, right here, he's doing a really good job. Like, uh, foot on the hip is good, but foot past the hip is tough. So he's got me extended right here. In my mind, I'm like, I have to be careful right here because... If he goes collar sleeve, maybe it, my elbow gets too far away from my hip or my knee, then he's going to have mm -hmm. omoplatus. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Or triangles. But as long as I control that leg right there. Yeah. That's right back into headquarters. Yeah. So my safe zone is the headquarters, obviously. I can't see too much from this angle. No, not too much. I'm just kind of persistent on the same thing. I'm trying to pin that leg to, uh, as far to the left as I can yeah. and open you up. Yeah. That, that grip that grip with your left hand is killing everything that I want to do right now. I gotta go leg weave and then flip my leg back. So you can see my, I'm in, I'm in headquarters with my right leg on the outside. I kind of float to the leg weave pass. He reacts too much, so you can see his knees outside. Mm -hmm. So instead of ending up in your butterfly half guard, or, or half guard or close guard, I re palm my left leg back through. That's pretty. Yeah. And go back. You caught me with a butterfly hook. Not for long, though. And this is the leg drag sequence right here. So I get past the, the line of his knee. Let's see how that happens. So it looks like. Looks like maybe try a long step again with that same grip set up. I, I couldn't get it going on. And then. Oh, and then you try to bring that foot to the bicep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that recovery. You I tried. Yeah, I tried. And I'm and I remember going like this. Mm -hmm. Right here, I tried to shrimp away. Yeah. And I was trying to frame, but you're so once you get that angle, you're so relentless. You can see I drive my hips yeah. forward, even though my chest is really high. Yeah. But I'm driving the hips forward because I know it's right around the corner. I'm trying to recover right here, but you just stay on it. There's yeah. just not a good opportunity. Here's one thing you probably get most people with, but I'm, I'm pretty good at like deflecting this, mm -hmm. is this far leg, when it throws over, I dip down. Yeah. See, I get low, so you can't catch me. I have to do that so many times with Taylor, and mm -hmm. he still catches. He can bring his his foot like to his chest. Yeah. And then, let's look at this. This is the highlight of the roll. I get them flick damage on John Wick. <laughs> My canine hits John Wick right across the face. But... <laughs> Jiu Jitsu, you can see a little bit of blood. How's it looking today? It's not bad. Uh, it's show not the camera. Bad. I think it hurts you worse than it hurt me. No, I was trying to pull skin off my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, game on. so hard to open up yeah get you to open up I noticed okay. hey I, I see you start fishing for that lapel and I knew I needed to do something yeah you've got a very strong bravo and I know I'm not gonna finish this at all this is just giving you something to react to I'm see. just trying to connect I, I somehow I messed up here though I went for the pant grip and then Neon belly, and then so you got me back. This in. is this is my neon belly escape. escape. That I do. Yep, that's really really good right there. 
this is a, that's a world class escape. Honestly, it is. Kind of walk us through this. What you? So go ahead and pause it. So the big thing. I don't want to obviously turn my back because mm-hmm. if I turn my back, you're gonna take my back. Uh, if I push the knee down, you're probably just gonna bring it back up. Especially like yeah. I, I know everybody's probably felt knee on belly at some point, but not everybody has felt your knee on belly. It's mm-hmm. it's different, right? And so pushing it away is not going to do anything. Shrimping is not going to do anything. You know, you're just going to waste energy. So what I try to do is I try to take, like right here, I've got my right, I'll take my right palm, I'll get Mm. under the knee, and then I take my left hand, and I go underneath the ankle. Mm. And so I bridge, I bridge, and then I try to hold it up for just a second, and I'll try to catch basically quarter guard or half guard. Yeah. And one thing I've been doing recently, as soon as I get the leg, if I'm not careful, you'll get back in on a knee slice. Yeah. So what I do is, as soon as I catch anything... You turn away? Yeah. I, sh- I like scoot my hips in, and then I'll try to come back and recover. Mm. Let's break that down real quick. So there it is. There's my foot. Yep. yep. It's right in his guard, quarter guard. I'm still in on knee yep. slice. And then turning his hips the other way. Yep. It's strong. Yeah. I'm glad we broke this down because I, now I know what I need to do. <laughs> and here I'm looking tripod sweep. Yeah. Almost gets it. Gets me wobbly footed here. <laughs> so you're right to the guard pull. John Wick's being aggressive here. As soon as he pulls, we're back into the same exact situation. Yep. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I'm looking for that. It's just like muscle here. I'm not even thinking at this point. I just know I need to catch that leg right here. Step over. And here I am again. Yep. Same battle. I mean, it's tough to keep, if you're on bottom, to keep up with this. This person's yep. doing that to you time and time and time again, right? Yeah. You were wearing on me right here, though. I mean, I, I, I was still trying. I, I wanted to go lasso here, but you, you, you're killing that leg. Yeah. There's not much I can do. Yeah, that was pretty. Just floating. Yeah. Sometimes that happens too. Like you're not able to get exactly what you want, mm-hmm. but like it's just like I kind of like do like a a switch. So I bring my right knee in mm-hmm. b- to block your knee, and I swing my left knee out wide, and then I'll replace right there. Yeah. And into like a leg drag ish position, or if I can settle leg drag, perfect. If not, then I can try to get the pass, and that's it. Yeah, you had me about gas there at the end. Yeah. That was good. It was a good round. <laughs> well, we told we told each other we had prepared for this. Yeah. Right. <laughs> we said tomorrow. This was I think this was Friday. We said on Friday we're like, hey John, wait, we're gonna do a rerun the roll. Tomorrow, bring your A game. We're gonna do five six minutes, hard as we can go, and we're probably not gonna be that entertaining because we're gonna negate each other's games, but. Let's get somebody to film it with the camera on us and see how we do. So, uh, you can see a little bit of our role. We're trying to get another one in Nogi. That'd be cool. Yeah, I feel like sure. Nogi might be a little more open. Yeah. Because the gi, be we just more, grip each other. There's going to be a lot more movement. Yeah, a lot more movement. Yeah. But there you have it. John Wick versus myself, Logan. Break it down the best we possibly can. Hope you guys yeah. are able to take something away from it and learn from it. And uh, enjoy. Enjoy.